What's up everybody? I am at Oviedo Rare Coins and Collectibles. Yes, we're gonna take a look and you guys have asked and we're gonna find out what are they paying with such fantastic prices on gold and silver? What are they buying for? I know a lot of people are looking to unload. They've been buying a ton of stuff off people. Let's find out the answer to that today. All right. Now, for all of you that do come here to Oviedo Rare Coins and Collectibles, they have been nominated as Orlando's best, Orlando's best business in the cold and go cold, golden coin dealer category. Blech. Let me get it out of my mouth. Uh, which that's no surprise to me because they are the best in Orlando. Uh, if you do come here, please vote for them. There's the email address. That is a very cool thing and obviously good for business. Uh, as usual, they've got stuff everywhere, always. They still have the Zombux kit sitting up there, but let's run through the case real fast. We got some cool foreign silver in here. Try and get them. Some other nice pieces, of course. I always love Barber Habs, especially when they're notable. But they've got war nickels, they got Ike dollars, they got all the things we know and like. But the very best part, and and remember, this is Friday. Silver is over 31, I think, an ounce right now, and gold is 20 over 2600 an ounce right now. Incredible. And we're gonna talk to Mark here in just a second about what they will buy for. I know you guys have been asking, we're gonna let you know. They've got some fi fantastic pieces in the case, everything you can want. <sighs> here it is. And we got Mark right here. Hey, Good John. to see you, Mark, Good Friday. You, John. you guys are gonna be hopping tonight. You always get busy on Fridays, Friday, the weekends. Sundays, yeah. There's That's your right. info for everyone to see. Now I saw this best of Orlando. Congrats. Thank you. That's fantastic. Yeah, we're honored. Well, and people get a chance. They can go in there. They can vote for you guys up until the 27th. So make sure you do to Another support week. these guys. One more week of voting. So silver and gold's on a tear. Seems to be going crazy. Went straight up, right? It's kind of surprising. It's pretty wild. Now with that in mind, I know that there's been a lot of sellers that are paying well behind spot on stuff because they're worried about the height of things being, you know, if it all goes time, up. All time record highs for gold. So. Right, if it goes up, it's probably gonna come down at some point. Well, a lot of people have wanted to know, your prices are always fantastic, but they wanna know what you're buying for because you yeah. guys are always buying too, right? Correct, yeah. Fantastic, so let's take a run around the case and start with Junk silver, what are you selling at today times face for junk silver? Today we'd be at 21 times face. We were at 20 times face when silver was around $30, but now it's 31.25, 31.30. So we'd be at 21 times face. Of course, that's flexible. And we always do three points different. So we, if it's 20, we pay 17. If it's 21, we pay 18 times face. And I think even at 21 times face, we're behind spot still, on that. Still behind spot, still selling for under spot, correct. Incredible. Uh, let's shift over one ounce generic rounds. One ounce generic what are we charging on that? Rounds and bars right now we buy for like 94 percent of spot. We sell for a dollar over spot. So whatever spot is, we sell for one dollar over. So that means we're you know at this climate right now we'd be selling for uh, selling for 32, yeah. buying for 10 percent over spot would be three three dollars over. So we're basically selling for three dollars over spot. I mean, 3% over spot. 3% over yeah, spot at a buck over. Yes, at a buck over. So if you, right, if like right now, silver spot is 31.25, we'd be at 32.25. If we buy it for 94, 95%, that means we'd be buying it around... 29? 29.50. 29.50. Yeah, so basically $2 under, $1 over. Fantastic. Yep. Uh, American Silver Eagles, that one is the other kicker. People yeah. always want to know, what are we buying and selling we, on those? We buy it for a dollar over spot, we sell it for four dollars over spot. So Fantastic. Yeah, so people get a fair shake on that, you know. it's Silver Eagles always command a premium. Desired. Yes, highly desired. So that's good for everybody. And then gold, 
let's obviously gold's conditional upon the piece that it is yeah, but say somebody's bringing in because i know you guys you've sold foreign gold at spot i mean that mexican libertad was amazing yep. uh the 50 peso one or whatever uh so foreign stuff you know you might be able to find that at spot but if i brought in an american gold eagle one ounce round what could I expect for you guys to buy that for? I mean, if it looks real good, it's in good condition. It's not beat up or, you know, not taken care of. If, if it's well taken care of, we can buy that for 97% of spot. We sell for 2% over. Gotcha. So, so just a 5% spread. Yes, same with the gold buffalo. Gold maple would be just slightly less. We'd sell it for slightly less and buy it for slightly less. And are the gold eagles, are those just like our silver eagles, are those the best premium or the highest pay uh, as far as Pretty gold much. that's not numismatic per yes, se? exactly. So as far as bullion goes, the eagles are king. Yeah, pre-33 gold, US pre-33 gold, whether it's $2.5, $5, $10, $20, we're paying just under the gold value for it, selling it for just barely over the gold value. Unless, of course, it's a rare key date, like a 1911D, two and a half dollar gold Indian. That would be, you know, a completely different animal. That that would go on condition. And that's and numismatic that and collectible. Numismatic. Correct. All right. With all the madness that's ensuing, are we going to see prices go up or down this week? No. Who knows? Nobody, Nobody knows. knows. That's for sure. I mean, the Fed's for the first time in four and a half years, dropped the rate by a half percent. I think that helped the stock market, that helped. But everything's everybody, fine. Everybody feels like, yeah, exactly. But everything's great. Put a little bit of money in everybody's pocket. So, I mean, you know, eventually it will, it will take time, of course. Absolutely. Well, we appreciate it. Regardless of whether the price goes up or down, you are always buying, always selling silver, gold, all the best things here at Oviedo Rare Coins and Collectibles. Again, if you have come here, even if you haven't come here, take my word for it. Go to these guys, vote them in, best of Orlando, because they are Orlando's best coin shop. Thank you for having me as always. Um, have you. a fantastic weekend, and we'll be back, because you know I don't stay away for very long. This is kind of my weekly jam up here, and uh, you know, who doesn't want to come hang out at the coin shop? And if you ask real nice, they may even get you a drink if you come in and say hi. So Sounds great. let them know, check them out. And uh, yeah, thanks, Mark. We'll see you next time. Pirate out. Arg. <laughs>